Hey everyone, I'm Jack. Welcome to the channel. Today, in this video, we're going to be looking at how I took this old bent hub that I used to ride like, I don't know, eight years ago, and how I turned it into something brand new. So stick around and by the end you'll see how I managed to make this thing look a lot nicer and fit a lot better than it would now. 2,000 years later. Well, the hub is done and it looks looks pretty gorgeous. <laughs> So to start off, the hub flanges were extremely bent out of shape and definitely were not meant for use again. <laughs> definitely couldn't put it back into use. So I put it in a vise and I decided to carefully hammer the flanges back into place and try to strain them up as best I could. As you can see here, there's kind of like a before and after. So I, I, I did it a little better. I got it a little more straight and uh, hopefully I can use it now. So after I got the flanges straight, I decided my next step would be to remove the kind of poppy orange color that was originally on it. I looked around the shop to try and find whatever I could and eventually I came across a kind of like a paint thinner that I was really hoping would work. And it did, but yeah, it took a long time. So I kind of started out just by gooping this stuff on and kind of painting it onto the hub. It's I couldn't tell if it was starting to peel off or not, so I decided to put more on. In between waiting for coats and seeing if it would work, I had a little skate session and got all sweaty. These sessions were actually pretty good. But anyways, after so many layers of putting paint stripper on, I finally was starting to see results. So I just started chipping away at as much, um, as much paint as I could. If I could go back and redo this though, I would have taken off the bearings ahead of time. It would have made the stripping process way much easier and scraping all that gunk off and all that like old coating off. So if you guys are gonna do this, definitely take the bearings off before everything else because it'll just make this process way easier. I didn't get it to exactly how I wanted it <laughs> to be stripped, but I had been out there for a couple hours and I was getting kind of frustrated, so <laughs> I took it in and got it washed and the next day I decided to go ahead and remove the bearings this time. Well, not really remove the bearings so much as break them off in a vice grip. Then I wanted to make the finish more perfect, so I took the hub to the grind wheel and started grinding away trying to give it a good finish and also get all like the powder coat or the paint that was originally on it. As I was doing this, I realized something. Back when I had bought this hub way back in the early 2010s, it was branded as a Bedford Unicycles hub. And what I came to find out was after I'd stripped off all the paint, <laughs> It was actually a Chris Holm moment hub. Bedford had put on his Bedford logo and had told me at the time that this was a Bedford hub. Little iffy, a little bit of a conspiracy here. <laughs> so after the sandpapering and the polishing and the finishes were complete, I decided to take the hub back to my house and I was going to put a new color on it. So I found the best chrome spray paint I could find and decided to just go ham with the help of my brother who has done many spray paint jobs himself. For this task, we needed to hang up the hub so that it would be easy to spray paint. And then we got ourselves a primer, the spray paint itself, and the clear coat that we were gonna put on after. So we started by putting the primer layer on and this just kind of makes the spray paint stick better and just makes it stay on the metal. It dries pretty quick, like 10 minutes or so between each coat. We decided to put on the silver coating and it was looking really sick, <laughs> really awesome. And this one, this process took a little bit of time because between the coats, we were trying to get it as even as we could, so we were spraying it a little more slow. After we had gotten our color, we decided to put on the clear coat. This would just give it another protective layer and keep it from getting dented or like damaged. After that, we let it dry for about 24 hours. I found some brand new bearings and popped those on, and now we got 
this. This beautiful, renewed, Chris Holm Moment Hub, 36 holes. It was originally totally bent out of shape. The flanges were just completely bent and you just couldn't use them. The bearings were old and kind of rusty and they didn't really turn so well. Well, that's my hub restoration video. Uh, hopefully I inspired somebody to do this. It's totally doable and hopefully this kind of acts as a little bit of a tutorial and you learn from my mistakes and the things I did well. <laughs> And thanks for watching. Peace.